The news starts now. AM 1240 and 95.3 FM. WJON. Good morning. I am Paul Habster at WJON. News time is 6.05. Current temperature 48 degrees here in St. Cloud. I'll have your full WJON weather eye forecast following the news. News is brought to you this morning by Cashwise Foods. A former St. Joseph City Council member has announced the official launch of her campaign to become St. Cloud's next mayor. Ann Buckvold is holding an event next Saturday, May 4th at 10.30 a.m. at the Great River Regional Library in St. Cloud. Her campaign, Believe in Something Better, will present what she calls a comprehensive platform to focus on pressing issues facing the community while fostering inclusive growth and opportunity. Her key pillars are economic development, regional transportation, education, and employment opportunities and housing. Buckvold ran unsuccessfully for the Minnesota House in 2016. She was appointed to the St. Joseph City Council in 2018 and then was select, elected to the seat that same year. She resigned from the council before her term was up in 2021. She also had an unsuccessful run for St. Joseph Mayor in 2020. Earlier this week, St. Cloud City Council member Carol Lewis also announced her intention to run for St. Cloud Mayor. Last Friday, Mayor Dave Kleiss announced he would seek re- would not seek re-election after nearly 20 years on the job. The filing period officially opens on May 21st and runs through June 4th. If three or more people file to run for mayor, there will be a primary election held in August, with the top two moving on to the general election in November. Almost 40 workers at a fully-based vegetable farm have filed a federal lawsuit charging the farm with four counts of violating the Trafficking Victims Protection Act. The complaint filed in U.S. District Court claims Sveal Vegetable Farms and its owner, John Sveal, created a work environment of fear, psychological abuse, sleep deprivation, and seclusion that led to a cycle of forced labor and financial coercion. The complaints are mostly from Central Americans working on the farm under H-2A work visas. They claim the farm used their inability to read or speak English to force them into 17-hour workdays, poor living conditions, limited access to fresh water and restroom breaks, and paychecks that did not reflect the total number of hours worked. The complaint has been filed, but a court date has not been set. In a statement, Officials which file vegetable farm claim they met or exceed the H2H program requirements and the lawsuit is baseless. A large turnout is expected for the annual Defend the Second Amendment rally today at the state capitol. Rob Dorr of Minnesota Gun Owners Caucus says they oppose the gun control bills introduced at the legislature. From assault weapons bans to magazine restrictions, mandatory licensing. But the bills that are moving have been the the safe storage mandate, mandatory reporting of lost and stolen firearms, as well as a provision banning certain types of firearm triggers. The rally inside the Capitol Rotunda at 11 a.m. will include a program featuring legislative leaders and other speakers. The House is scheduled to vote Monday on three gun violence prevention bills. The U.S. Department of Labor has finalized a rule that will expand overtime to thousands of salaried workers in Minnesota. Starting July 1st, the annual salary threshold under which salaried workers will be eligible for overtime will be $43,388. Then on January 1st, 2025, the threshold will grow to $58,656 per year. In addition, the salary thresholds will be updated every three years based on new wage data Small business groups have threatened legal action against the new rule. WJON news time is 609, 48 degrees here in St. Cloud. Your WJON weather eye forecast is up next. Contractors. Double radar for, for St. Cloud and Kimball today, chance for scattered storms early. Otherwise, cloudy skies expected with a high of a 57 tonight. Overnight lows approaching 42 under cloudy skies. Tomorrow, more scattered thunderstorms likely otherwise overcast and a high of only 47 degrees. Precipitation amounts up to a little over half an inch expected for tomorrow. Tomorrow night, overcast skies with scattered thunderstorms likely and a low of 40. Monday, more scattered rain showers likely early, otherwise a high of 51. And then in your extended forecast for Tuesday, a blend of clouds and sun and a chance for some scattered showers, a high of 67 Wednesday, partly cloudy with a high of 65. 
And Thursday cools off a little again with a high of 58 under partly cloudy skies. Currently 48 degrees here in St. Cloud. You don't just like listening to WJON. How about liking WJON on Facebook? Like WJON.com on Facebook today. Paul Hapster at WJON News. Save big money at Menards. Let the fresh air in and keep the bugs out with replacement screen for your doors and windows from AdForce. It's easy to install, durable against the elements, and comes in a variety of types to suit your needs. Repair your screens today with a roll of replacement screen on sale through May 5th. And check out more great deals happening now in our weekly flyer on Menards.com. Save 